welcome students. In this video, we will try to complete our practical 1D, the third program. That is testing for vowels. What is the vowel everybody knows? That is A, E, I, O, U. So we need to accept the character from the user and further checking whether the given character is A, E, I, O, U or not. If it is capital A or a small A, if it is capital I or a small I, if it is a capital E or a small E, then we will be returning that true. That means it is a vowel. Otherwise, it will return as what here false. So let's try to work out this particular program, testing of vowels. I will try to write a program in the same switch case. So I am interested in creating one more function in the earlier video. The first video we had seen generating Fibonacci series. In the second video we had seen how to check the prime. And now we are interested in writing the program for testing for vowels. So here I am creating one function that is called a public boolean value. And I am saying check vowel. So here I am trying to go for creating the vowels. So check vowels. Okay, fine. To so check vowels, and here I'm interested in accepting the character C. And then this character C I need to check whether it is a vowel or not. So why the error is coming, you know that we are not at written any value. That's the reason it is displaying that this function is still not returning value. And we had specified a return type as Boolean. So here it comes. I'm planning to create one Boolean variable by saying Boolean. Maybe return value equal to I'm specifying it as false because by default all character I want they should be false. And if they are A E I O U, then it has to be what we can say true, otherwise it will be false. And I just specify return R E value, return value, and uh, further I'm writing a small if condition. This is a very small program. So I write by saying if the character C if it is equal to equal to small a or character C is equal to equal to capital A or character C is equal to equal to small e or character C is equal to equal to capital E A E I now. So or the character C is equal to equal to the small i or the character C is equal to equal to the capital I A E I O. So now, or if the character C is going to be small o, or the character C is equal to equal to the capital O, or A E I O U. So now I am specifying character C is equal to equal to small u. And the last one now, if the character C is equal to equal to capital U. If this is the case, then the return value I would like to specify it as what we can say true. So here I am specifying as return value equal to true. So this function check vowel will be accepting the character and returning either true or false. So by default I had mentioned it is false. So if the character uh, is not a vowel, it will be returning false. And if the character is a vowel, it will be returning what? True. So the function is been now developed by us. Now we would like to implement the function. So for that reason, I'm writing the one more case by saying, sir, a case ka structure kaisa kiya tha? Just view the first video of this practical uh, related with the Fibonacci series. You will understand the way in which this program has been structured. I'm specifying case where the value has been three. I need to first of all accept the value from the user. A character need to be accepted. So I display as console.write and the character. And uh, here I need to accept the character. So I mention as uh, character ch equal to console dot uh, read key dot key cap. So this will be what accepting the character from the user. So read key will be accepting the key value, then key carry will be what converting the character passing it to the ch. I need to call the function which will be returning whether the given number is uh, or given character is a vowel or not. So I can directly write inside a function also by saying if the object name, what is the object name? The object name is p1 dot and then I am saying check vowel in the bracket. I am passing the character which is accepted by us that is ch. 
If it is equal to equal to true, I would like to display console dot write line. I will be displaying over here. Now, please try to understand what has been done by us that we had accepted a character from the user. We had passed the character. Yes, you can directly write it inside a condition over here also. I am just showing you in a different way. Now, whatever the way is suitable to you, you can just implement the programming in that particular manner. So here I am just saying it is vowel and type over and should do. Then I just mentioned over here as console dot write line. Uh, it is not vowel. Just wait a minute. I will just rectify it. New W E L S was. Okay. S nikal de tom. Vowel in it. So it is vowel or it is not vowel. And then for the switch case, I am implementing the break statement. And my program is what successfully completed. Let's see execution wise. So I run the program. Here it asks me what is your choice. I just maintain my choice as what we can say third one for a vowel. It asks me the character. I enter the character as W. It says it is not vowel. Whereas if I run the program and I am interested in displaying over here the choice as 3 and the character I entered as A, it says it is vowel. But for displaying, I want the output should be there in the next line. So I am just using backslash N over here. So it will be good that the output will be displayed what we can. So in the next line, you can just check out. I run the program once again. So here it comes. I enter the choice as 3. I enter the character as A. It says vowel. If I enter the character in capital A also, it is going to display it is vowel only, right? So, if you can see it, you can see choice 3 is vowel, character A dal diya, it is vowel. And for the rest of the character A, E, I, O, U, chhod ke, then all are getting displayed as what here, not a vowel. So, this is the way by which the next part, that is what you are testing of vowel, is the part which is completed by us for this practice. Now, in the sec next video, we will try to implement the for each loop which will be implemented along with what we can say, Alex. Thanks a lot for watching this video.